Welcome back to another Celebrity Suites and welcome to Baking Basics. This is my mini series where I'm showing you guys a bunch of baking treats that everyone should learn how to make and cutting it straight to the basics. No themes or anything like this. In past videos, I've showed you guys how to make cakes, cookies, frostings, and fondant. And today I thought we'd continue on with another treat that I really enjoy brownies. We haven't made too many brownies on the channel. In fact, I think the only brownies we've made were avocado brownies. So while those were amazing, I'm going to show you just a go-to basic brownie recipe. So if you're ready to choco about these brownies, I'm ready to choco about these brownies. Get it? Chocolate? Chocolate. It's chocolate. The first thing we want to do in making these brownies is we're going to combine half a cup or one stick of melted butter and one cup of granulated sugar to a large bowl. Whisk it up until the sugar is fully incorporated. This right here just looks so good. Like I could just eat this. To our butter and sugar mixture, we want to crack in two eggs. These eggs are at room temperature. Again, all these ingredients are at room temperature. It just helps when baking. I highly recommend it. If you know you're gonna be making these brownies like the next day, just leave the butter out overnight. Leave the eggs out overnight just so that they can get to that room temperature state. Simply crack in one egg whisk it up, then crack in your next egg and whisk it up until fully combined. At this point, we have almost like a custard base. And to this, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's so good. Like it makes me wanna, but I know it's nasty. Once you've mixed in your vanilla, now we can start to add in the chocolatey ingredients. I have light cocoa powder over here. This is unsweetened. And we're gonna add a third a cup of cocoa powder to our egg mixture. Whenever I'm making brownies, I like to do it the old-fashioned way, just using a whisk and a bowl. You could use a stand mixer or a hand mixer, but I just find that this is easy and you know when everything is incorporated because we definitely don't want to overmix. It's also very important that you scrape down the sides intermi intermi intermittently. Is that the word? Intermediately? Intermittently. Immediately. We're going to finish off these brownies by adding in a half a cup of all-purpose flour. And to finish off these brownies, we're going to add in a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. And the last thing we're going to add in is a fourth a teaspoon of salt. You can already tell how dense these are. These are going to turn out amazing. The other great thing about brownies is that they're really one bowl. Like I've dirtied a thousand bowls right now showing you how to make these. But you can just use your measuring cups and just start adding in your ingredients. And then you just end up with the brownies in here. And then you're just dirtying one big bowl. There's no separate dry and wet or you have to add in the milk and all those dishes. And speaking of pans and bowls, now we can transfer it into our pan. I'm going to be using a nine by nine inch pan. However, you can use whatever pan you'd like. And I'm gonna put a bunch of equivalents in the description below along with this recipe. So you can just go down there and see if you're using a different pan, how long you should bake it for. Simply scrape in all of your brownie batter into a lightly greased pan. Before I just eat all of the batter just like this, we need to pop them into the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And here we have our brownies that we made today. These are so ooey gooey and chocolatey. I have to eat one right now because you can't put a plate of brownies in front of me and not eat one. I like the corners. That's the best part of the brownie. So good. These brownies are super simple and easy to make and are a perfect treat to make on a whim, just like that. If you need something, urgent and quick. They're really just one bowl of brownies. If you happen to make these brownies, please share them with me on Instagram or Twitter. And if you have any other requests for another celebrity sweets or baking basics, please leave it down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share this video with someone who likes brownies or if you want them to make you some brownies, share this video. But until next time, bake some brownies. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here's my latest video. And down here's what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.